since we hear so much about the sun causing skin cancer, and it does, why do we need to be checked in places on our body where the sun never shines? I'm sure you're in for a big surprise. Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and welcome to Durham TV. Today, you're going to hear some surprising things about skin cancer, but don't blame me. I don't make up the rules. I just tell you the way it is. So there are three types of skin cancer. Basal cell cancer, squamous cell cancer, and of course, deadly melanoma. But the first two types, basal cell and squamous cell, they occur on sun-exposed skin in response to the accumulation of lots and lots of little doses of sun exposure over many, many years. So it's not surprising that most of those skin cancers occur where the sun shines the most. But the most deadly skin cancer, melanoma, it can occur also from direct sun exposure. But here's the surprise. Many melanomas occur because of one single intense exposure to the sun many, many years before. So you can have a sunburn where your skin turns all red or even gets blistered, the kind where you went home that night and you actually had chills. It then takes 20 or 30 years for that damage to manifest and cause precancerous moles which then become melanomas. But here's the tricky part. When you get that really bad sunburn on the back of your hand, the epidermis which gets damaged has Langerhans cells. They're messenger cells. They talk to the next lower layer, the dermis, where the blood vessels are. And they send the message into the blood vessels, into cells in your blood that circulate all around your body. And then the reverse happens any place and every place in your body, even in sun-protected areas. So when the reverse happens, that damage is finally transmitted to the epidermis in those distant places, never seen any sun. That's how you wind up with melanoma under your bathing suit, in your scalp, between your toes, on your palms and soles. So here's your takeaway. The next time you get a skin cancer screening exam, you'll understand why the doctor's looking in all of these places that don't make any sense because you have a full head of hair or you've never been outside without your bathing suit. And here's one more surprise. I never tell my patients not to go in the sun. I tell them how to protect themselves with sunscreen. Makes a lot more sense. Please join me again at DermTV.com. If you have a question, please send it to me by visiting DermTV.com slash question. I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and thank you for watching today.